First of all, I'd like to congratulate all the students of the graduating class of 2015. It's incredible, incredible work. I'm so pleased to be here. And uh, interesting enough, when I first walk in, you know, uh, with, with tremendous, you know, impact because you know by being here last year also and seeing the show I felt that there has really been an incredible boost of energy and and the closure is just so beautiful. It will be really important for me to be in the fashion show because uh, it will be a great opportunity to show how much I have learned and achieved in this school for four years. A lot of people have different visions and sometimes it's hard to break that barrier between your work and showing it to someone else. It could be subjective, but at the same time, once someone appreciates it, it gives you a certain type of feeling. I think, you know, developing this thesis or the final collection, it's your, I guess it's the foundation for everything moving forward. It's what everyone sees, it's how you ex express yourself and you really have to put your all into it. This is your opportunity to really ex like explain to the world why you belong here in this industry. So right now, we're in the middle of the Fashion History Gallery at the museum at FIT. And this really is a wonderful place where students come to research their collections at the start of their senior thesis. When you typically think of a, a hand-knit sweater, you think of like a grandma knitting with her needles. But I'm literally creating everything with just my bare hands. So I think it's really personal in a way. I mean, building great connections in this industry and um, showing that the industry, that young talent is still out there and um, you know the hopes of a potential you know, internship or employment with um, company of, the, of my dreams or you know even the luck of kind of having my own company that would be amazing. I started off at Alexander Wang and then I interned at Tory Burch for a summer which turned into freelance opportunity. Last summer I spent my time at Helmet Lang and it was supposed to be a part-time internship, internship so um, that turned into a full-time job and now I'm working at the Knit Resource Center. FIT is right in the hub of New York City and what's really happening in the world of fashion. So whether it's the fashion industry, which is right here on 7th Avenue, or what's happening in meatpacking, or the nightlife, or downtown, or the museums, really our students are part of all of this, really at all times. And I think this is just the, the beginning of, of one's career to be at FIT and to present one or two looks. It's just the beginning and the st first step towards having um, a career in that industry. It's the pressure to perform, the pressure to show your best. I think it's so important at this time to, to be able to go through this um, process so, so that you know whether you're able to complete a garment, to complete a look, to complete an idea and present it to the press and not be afraid or be proud at, at the end of the day. It's amazing to see how much talent there is in the room. I can't imagine one person or like out of all these people winning at the end because it's just there are so many winners in the room. Everybody is. As a judge, I'm always looking for two things. I'm looking for wearability and sellability. And I was really blown away by how wearable and inspiring these coats were. You know, we've had the worst winter in New York. And a few months ago, I was looking for a not so basic camel coat. And I didn't realize they were sitting right here at FIT. It's unbelievable. Every year, I'm always blown away by how much improvement there is year to year. I think it's as good as it's going to get. And these kids blow me away year to year. I mean, one of the things I love, you know, being here is that it gives me a sense of, you know, what's going to be in the future. I mean, the graduates of FIT will basically uh, be placed at different fashion houses or perhaps they're going to start their own brand. So I always love to have a sense of, you know, who's going to be out there next, out there in the real world and who's going to be dressing us up. If you look around the entire collection, you see uh, a lot of handwork. We have painting on fabrics that um, create a different texture and surface. And there's work in leather, there's laser cutting, there's LED lights on some garments. 
It's almost impossible to believe that there is a way that they could just get better than the prior year, but this year I feel like the technique and the amount of detail that I have seen has been really outstanding. And um, the color, the use of color is really unbelievable. They definitely have a lot of knowledge and understanding of what color should look like when you put it all together. You know, I was really impressed by the knitwear. I am normally, I, I, it was surprising to me. I, I thought the knitwear was so nicely done. It was incredible. I mean, look at these pieces. They're amazing. FIT has a campus in Milan. They're renowned for their product design, their industrial design. We have a standalone fashion program there in collaboration with them. And it's really a phenomenal opportunity for students to get a study abroad experience. Now that they're graduating, there's an opportunity for them to see how business is actually conducted. And to come to ENK to see the trade shows where department stores, specialty stores, and various buyers come from around the world to come and see your product and to see your designs is a great opportunity for them. I love the sportswear. I love every single category, actually. It's been really, really exciting for me to be here, being able to touch the clothes, look at all the details. I mean, these students are just incredible, done incredible, incredible, incredible work.